I love new bags. Pretty big bag, so you can expect a pretty big bag inside. Also, it's not black. I have not got a black bag, people. I have not got a black bag. Hey, welcome to today's video all about my new Mulberry handbag. I am so excited to unbox with you guys. But if you're new around here, hi, my name's Charlotte. You can find me over at Charlotte Buttrick on Instagram. I'll share daily outfit inspiration over there. And my channel is all about style, fashion, beauty, and I do a bit of weekly vlogging for some lifestyle aspect as well, so you can get to know me a little bit better and what I get up to behind the scenes. So if you're new, I'd love if you subscribed, click the notification bell as well to make sure you know when I've uploaded and let's get on to today's video. Here is the bag that I'm going to be sharing with you. Pretty big bag, so you can expect a pretty big bag inside. I went to Cheshire Oaks. If you're from the Northwest in England, you'll know it's in Chester. It's like a discounted village, a little bit like Bicester Village if you're down south. So you can go shopping and get some good discounts. So they do tend to be maybe older season styles, but the money you can save is so good. And I worked with them on a campaign for my Instagram. Here's a little shot that I took. They invited me to the center. I explored all day, although I am a regular shopper there anyway, to be honest. And they kindly provided me with a 200 pound gift card. So I have had 200 pounds off this, but I did put the rest of my money towards it. So the mission that I wanted to do when I was there was to look for a new bag that can literally fit in the kitchen sink, my camera, my, uh, laptop, there we go, that's it. I wanted a laptop, I wanted like a good all rounder bag. So, this would be a good one for any people who have an office job or workers because it would make a perfect work bag. It'll also make an amazing travel bag. It'll also, you could use it for a gym bag if you wanted an expensive gym bag. Just a really handy bag to have. Now, this is a shopper bag and I'm gonna just get into it and show you which one it is. I'm sure you're as excited as I am because it's still in this bag since I bought it. Also, it's not black. I have not got a black bag, people. I have not got a black bag. Sorry, you might notice I'm still, um, still got a little bit of cold, so I've still got a husky voice, so I'm just trying to drink some ginger to get rid of it, but Ugh, it likes to be sticking around. So let's get into the exciting part. I love new bags. I love new bags. So we have this big, nice dust bag. I walked around the whole of Cheshire Oaks, twice. The main places I was basically looking was Burberry and Mulberry and I pretty much tried every single bag in Burberry. I'm sure that the sales assistants were sick of me. And then on the second time of going in I was like, why didn't I think of that earlier? How did I completely bypass this bag? Mulberry are like quintessential British and since they've had a lot of new bag designs and they've got basically all the bags in the store in Cheshire Oaks that are now bags on the website and they were cheaper than they are on the website. Is it the Seaton? And they had an extra 20% off so they were cheaper than buying them online and that's a current style. So get yourself down there if you want to go and have a look. It's a lot bigger mulberry than it used to be. Now this bag is also a current style but I couldn't find this colour, here's a little sneak peek, couldn't find this colour anywhere online. I think it's a rose water colour so I don't know if it's just because it's sold out or if it's a discontinued colour. But I kind of like that because it means I've got something that other people don't. But this bag is still available. Would also make a great Christmas gift. I'll probably include it in my Christmas gift guide. Uh, but I'll leave links down below as well. So the price of this in Mulberry, England was £521. It's the Bayswater Tote Small Classic Grain in Rosewater instead of £750. And they are about £695 on the Selfridges. So it was £200 cheaper. And I also got my £200 pounds off with the voucher that they very kindly gave me. So I paid a total of 320 for this bag but if you were in Cheshire Oaks it would be 520 which is still a saving of 200 pounds on our current style. So it is the Bayswater tote like I just told you so a very classic tote bag. It is pretty much similar size and shape to the Louis Vuitton Never Full, which I actually love as well. But if you're not too keen on prints, like I really want a Louis Vuitton bag, but I don't know if I will get sick of the print down the line because I had one when I was 18 and then I kind of got sick of the print. But this is just a beautiful leather handbag in a gorgeous colour that, you know, I'm loving my neutrals at the moment. I'll get wear out of in autumn and winter and also summer. So we have the mulberry clasp on the front there which is obviously quintessential mulberry and it also does 
seal the bag up slightly so it's not fully open. Now this was the last one in store as well. The other colours they had in store, they had a yellow, a bright blue, a dark blue, a bright pink and maybe a burgundy colour. So this for me, like I'm not really into my brights, this for me is more versatile. I probably would have gone for black if there was black there, but I kind of like that I didn't because all my other handbags are black that you guys probably know. So I'll just show you, inside the bag we have this beautiful suede lining, which I'm quite grateful that the suede inside the bag is darker than the actual colour of the leather itself because I am a little bit messy, not gonna lie, I am messy. And I'm gonna put separate bags in here probably with things in, so I just can keep it nice and beautiful. Obviously we have the padding in here as well, so I shall just take that out. So as you can see, there's plenty of room in there. What I will do in a minute is I will, I'll pop it on the seat and I will literally put everything in it that I want to be able to put in and you guys can see how much you can fit in here. I also thought it'd be good for shoot day so I regularly meet up uh, with the beautiful Victoria and we go shooting, we maybe change outfits and it's just going to be handy, I'll be able to fit my camera in it, I'll just be able to uh, take everything in it with me. I'm so excited for this, literally so excited. This is how excited I get over new handbags but I'll just quickly show you on the inside as well because obviously we don't have any internal pockets but we do have this and this actually clips in so you can keep it secure in your bag but you could also use this as a separate clutch now wouldn't this be so cute on say holiday a little clutch and so you're kind of saving space with your packing because you could use this as your flight bag you've got your evening bag for holiday in there secure as well you can keep your passports and everything in that I need to book holiday so I can basically use this bag for that and then yeah you could use this as a little clutch in the evening so it's just a little flap and then inside it's just like a little pouch so again we have the beautiful suede lining the same as in the bag and inside there I have my little Mulberry card which tells you about how to keep care and look after your product so as this was the last item that was out I did inspect it quite closely um, that's maybe why the edges on here are a little bit curled because it's it's been out and people have been looking at it but the woman the sales assistant was super helpful they're so nice in there they literally um help you find a bag that you're looking for they'll check the stock in the back for you uh, the lady was kind of coming over attaching straps to bags so i could try them across my body like you don't feel intimidated walking into that store they're all very friendly and have a really nice shopping experience and she recommended this leather gel which i think they sell on the mulberry website as well uh, because there was a tiny little mark on it and i thought it was like a scuff mark and it literally came straight out straight away so I am so impressed with the quality of this bag seen as though it was on show in the store and just so pleased with it. So this is my Mulberry bag if anybody was wondering which bag I went for but what I'm going to do now, sorry I'm just clipping this back in, also can we appreciate that I wore my nude Zara bodysuit with some gold maroon necklaces so I would be matching uh, but yeah I'm just going to put it on the seat and I'm going to show you how much you can fit in it so you guys will know how versatile this bag can be. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions on it, what you think about this bag. I thought it would just be a bit more versatile and I did like the Mulberry updated Bayswater style bags but I was no way going to fit a laptop in there and this, I just know it's very practical. Like am I getting old? I'm definitely getting older because I'm just thinking more about practicality with my bags than fashion whereas before I was always about I want to get the smallest bag so it looks cute across my body <laughs> but yeah i'm all grown up and i'm getting some grown-up handbags so i'm just going to show you how much that can fit in this bag first and foremost and i've got my little assistant with me do you like my baggie do you like my bag yes you do you really like my bag i have my laptop which is i think the 11 inch macbook air but you could get a 13 possibly even a 15 inch in here because it is so big, so this is the laptop in comparison to the bag. Plenty of room in there. I do actually have a laptop cover that's the same. Also, no need for this tag anymore, is there? There we go, so the laptop is securely in the bag. My camera, which ran out of battery as we were filming, so I'll just take this off. I wanted to also be able to carry my, my DSLR, which I need to get the lens caps downstairs, but for purposes of demonstration for this video I can also comfortably pop that in there as well. Obviously my phone is going to easily pop in there but I would probably put that in the little package at the back and then just to show you literally there's still so much room I'd be able to fit in let's say for an example a spare top or a jumper. 
which could be the likes of my beautiful acne scarf which is so big when you fold it up it goes quite chunky so say if it's cold and you're shopping like this obviously would be the perfect shopper bag seeing as though we try and not use plastic bags for the environment i can easily pop that in there as well and if i really wanted to i could also fit in a pair of shoes in that as well and slot all that in might be a little bit full but it still does the trick and fits all that in so i mean i just shove them in like that for purposes of showing you how much you can fit in but if i was off for a day into town there we go we've got my laptop we've got my camera we've got a scarf or a spare jumper i'd have some makeup in there and we're good to go so i'll just pop it on my shoulder so we'll see what it looks like and there you go this is what the bag looks like when it's on my shoulder so one the perfect matching outfit to go with it today like I said neutral and neutral it's just a beautiful color and um, you can support it under your arm like that if it's quite heavy and on your shoulder you can obviously do this while you're walking around as well or you can literally just have it on your back how you wish and that's literally quite full too as well and it doesn't feel too heavy on my shoulder so I could comfortably carry my laptop around with me or like I say you can give it a little hug as well like this so that is my beautiful new Warby bag. So hello to the handbag collection. If anybody actually wants a full handbag collection video, I think 90% of my handbags I've paid cheaper than they're meant to be because I love a little bargain then. Let me know in the comments below. The battery is flashing, so <clears throat> better drink on up and do the outro to this video. But thank you for unboxing my Warby bag with me. I'm sure you'll see it feature again because I love doing my style videos and I want to incorporate more kind of everyday daily versatile and functional looks like this is a very functional bag but also it lasts me a long time because it's beautifully crafted and i love the fact of how british mulberry is but that they've kind of changed the game they've got so many beautiful new styles i might be reaching to them for another new bag next time i'm shopping because they're designer but they're also reasonably priced you can get a really nice handbag from them without having to spend like two three grand so absolutely chuffed with that bag do give it a thumbs up if you love the bag too let me know about my back choice what you guys think about it don't forget to subscribe like comment and i will see you in some videos very soon and i have actually this week got coming up my black friday and christmas gift guide so there's probably going to be an upload every day monday tuesday wednesday thursday so you guys are going to be sick of me by friday but please don't be too sick that you don't watch my videos <laughs> and i'll catch you in later bye